Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, Rob's going to come and just share a thought around communion. Give him a big hand as he comes. Come it's probably not a good thing a guy with a beard and a bag putting it down on stage right now, is it? So, uh, I, get, I get looked at at the airport. No, no. Uh, well, <laughs> Look, I'm here tonight. I want to share a couple of stories with you guys, and um, this is really. Good. <laughs> we can take that off if you want. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Look, man, look. Last week was, a, you know, it was a, a very exciting weekend for me. Competing at the Arnold Classic is probably one of the, you know, biggest bodybuilding comps in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, I've won a world title before, but I would have to say that coming second in that competition is probably the the, the greatest victory I've ever had. Right. And, um, you know, it, why it is being probably one of the greatest victories, actually, all week, I've, I've actually got the medal here. Um, you know, I've never really been too big in, all, in my awards when I get them. They've just been there, the kids love them. But my wife, who's been great, and she's been an incredible support to me, you know, she's laid it out on the, uh, on the coffee table so I could basically see it every morning and everyone else that walks in the house for the last week. <laughs> and uh, it has been a great, like, reminded to myself that 30 years ago when I first started, actually, everyone said to me, you're never going to win a bodybuilding comp. You're not big enough. You're not yeah, good right. enough. And, um, you know, I just really thank God that I never listened to those people. And most of all is actually the first part of my bodybuilding career. At fifth, for the first 15 years, I did it without Christ. And the last uh, 10 years since coming back again, I've done it with Christ. And it's been an incredible grace over my life to do it and it's just been you know a great witness to a lot of people and you might ask what's this got to do with uh communion but you know the same way as you know my medal has been a symbol or a remembrance of the victory that you know um i had last week yeah. um when we come around communion and, and uh you know the, the symbols the elements that you have there in your hand yes. they remind me of the greatest victory of all time, right. the death and you know, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Mm. And why I, I get pretty passionate about it because 18 years ago, um, I, you know, and Gary spoke a little bit about this. You know, I suffered from, I, you know, had a drug addiction that was for 15 years, and I battled it on and off. And I, you know, it, it came to the point where I knew I needed, um, I needed help, and I put myself into a detox center and. And it was a tough 10 days of going through that. But one of the things that really stood out to me was the counsellor actually said to me that you've got a disease that can never be cured. It only can be, you know, controlled. And I thought, well, wow, that, that's how I'm going to have to deal with it. That's how I'm going to have to deal with it. And she said, you're going to have to change your whole life. Everything you've done for the last 15 years, if you've gone down this street, you're going to have to go down another street. Everything you've done that will remind you of taking drugs, you're going to have to stop. Now I did that, I did that in my own strength and for a year I went clean, it was the toughest year of my life and I found myself on <laughs> the eve of 1999 busting again and using drugs. I was, you know, tired, you know, my own strength wasn't good enough and um, it wasn't until 2000 that, you know, I made the decision again that, um, that this is it, I'm not going to take drugs anymore and it wasn't too long after that that I found myself in a church and um, it was over a couple of weeks that I heard this incredible message that God is not mad at me. He loves me. He's great love for me. And through that, it healed my life. Today, I'm 18 years clean. So every time when it comes to taking communion, it reminds myself of the greatest victory. Every time it reminds me of, the, of His great grace that I could not do this without Him. And tonight... And there's just something about, like, even last week, it wasn't until when my hands were raised that I actually felt the victory. And sometimes I think, you know, we need to really hold up what we've got in our hands to remember what we've actually got, what it significifies. Did I say that right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, get me, get me. I'm a youth pastor, still not at his level. Um, that, you know, it's the victory. And we've got to remember that what, what Christ has done for us. And yeah. He loves us. And he wants to set us free. And tonight, as we, as you guys partake in this, if anyone is going through emotional, physical, um, health, relationship, I want to believe with you tonight of the healing in your life and, and, and that Jesus wants to set you free. Through his grace, unmerited, undeserved favour 
you know, it's free. And like I said, you know, I, I, I tried to do it in the world's way of giving up drugs, couldn't do it. But through His grace, everything is possible. Right. And I just want to thank you for that. So if you guys want to take that and I'll pray for you. And uh, Father God, I just thank you for this opportunity to pray for my brothers and sisters here, your sons and daughters, and believing with them the greatest miracle of all time, your love and your grace over their life. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 What a champion.